Okay, today I'm going to show you how to do how to start a siphon without having to suck with your mouth, you know, like you see people do on the movies. Just basically using a vacuum, creating a vacuum using a hose. Um, so here we have a, a water pit. Basically, we had some plumbing work done, and during the during the um, the, the course of the workers working on the uh, the stuff, the pipes, they uh, it rained, and they so they said, well, we're just gonna wait till this dries up, and then we'll come back and you know replace the fill dirt, you know, which is it's actually been a few weeks, and then we went into this heavy rain period, so. Um, at some point I just siphoned the water out or figured out how to do that and then uh, you know it just kept raining and raining and filling up again so I've kinda got addicted to siphoning anyway so this is what you do um, put the end of the hose in the water make sure there are no kinks come over to the faucet and turn it on and it's gonna blow all the air out of the line See all that air? There you go. Just get a nice. Yeah, I think that's about it. Just let the hose fill up. So now, shut it off. And um, what I've done is taken a wine cork and just kind of whittled it into a shape that will fit in the end of the hose. And you gotta put it in the hose while it's still under water. If you bring it out of the water, then you get rid of the vacuum. So you can kind of just put it in. Why do you put it in? <laughs> put it in while it's under the water. You then, once you get it in, kind of can take it out. And, you know, you know, just kind of just fix it in there. Put it back in. Come over here, unscrew this, and you'll see that there's some water. Like, if there's water, yeah. So there's water just sitting there, which means that we got a vacuum. Take this, put this under the water, under the water line. Kind of shake it around, get rid of any little tiny air bubbles there, and then just try to put it in the deepest. Part of the thing, maybe put a rock there to help it uh, not lift up out of the water. Take this end, and now you want to find you have to take it, the water has to go to a lower place than where the pit is, than how deep the pit is. So I've basically figured out that my the curb out there is just lower. So I'm going to run this through the fence here and I'm going to snake the line out to the curb. Yes, I need to mow. It's been raining and raining and raining here and I haven't had a chance to mow but I'm going to do that right after the siphon, I promise. Alright, so we've got the end of the hose. It's kind of Now, I'm going to run around the house and, uh, you know, I'm pop the cork open. So, here we go. Stay here. Stay here. Oh. Well, I fell. I fell. I turned my ankle in a... Okay. Alright. And damn, that hurt my ankle. Oh my god, that hurt. Yeah. Yeah, that uh, the grass was not mowed and I didn't see that hole coming. Anyway, so now this is pointed here. So what's going to happen is I'm going to release the water and you're going to see a clear a stream of water from the faucet and then hopefully after that it'll be murky which will be the the muddy water of the uh you know from the pit 
So we got clear water there. And if we've done everything right, we should be seeing some brown water happening. Guys, don't touch the hose. Do you understand? Look at that. Brown water. We got brown water. We got a jackpot of brown water. Water is being sucked out of the hose, out of the pit, onto the street. It worked. All right, maybe this time I'll jump the fence. She's in jail. She's in jail? Well, I'm, I'm, then I'm going to bust into jail here. You're uh, going to break her out. No, I'm going to... Well, I guess... Well, I better turn this off.